Russia has reportedly launched an intercontinental ballistic missile during a strike on Ukraine, marking the first known use of such a powerful weapon in the ongoing conflict. This missile, reportedly an RS-26 Rubej, is designed for nuclear strikes and has a range of 5,800 kilometers. Its target was the central eastern city of Dnipro, where it caused damage to industrial facilities and sparked fires, leaving two people injured. Ukrainian officials did not confirm whether the ICBM was nuclear armed, and Russia has yet to comment on the missile launch. In addition to the ICBM, Russia fired a Kinzhal hypersonic missile and seven KH-101 cruise missiles. Six of the KH-101 missiles were reportedly intercepted by Ukraine's air defense systems. The missile was launched from Astrakhan, located over 700 kilometers from Dnipro, and has raised concerns among security experts regarding its unprecedented military use. In response to the reports of the missile launch, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov neither accepted nor denied the claims, advising reporters to address the military for details. I recommend addressing the military. I have nothing to say on this topic. However, Peskov did reiterate Russia's stance on Ukraine's use of Western weapons, calling it a new escalation and criticizing the outgoing U.S. administration for fueling the conflict. It's a new escalation. It's an irresponsible position of the outgoing Biden administration. They continue to pour fuel into the fire of this conflict, hindering in every way, preventing any dynamics aimed at its resolution. While, of course, using Ukraine as a tool in their hands in their war with the Russian Federation. This reported missile strike follows an escalation in hostilities as Ukraine has recently used Western-supplied weapons, including US ATACMs and British Storm Shadow missiles targeting Russian territory. Ukraine fired the Storm Shadow missiles into Russia's Kursk region on November 20th and the ATACMs on November 19th. Moscow has repeatedly warned that these strikes on Russian soil would mark a significant escalation, with Russian President Vladimir Putin lowering the threshold for nuclear retaliation in response to such attacks. As tensions rise in the 33-month-old conflict, both sides have continued to make high-risk moves. The launch of an ICBM signifies a major shift in Russia's military strategy, reflecting the growing instability of the war.